So we're excited to be here today to have this project, which started at our store in downtown Dallas, where there was some damage after looting. And we had a similar situation happen here in Walnut Creek. So we wanted to take this as a moment to turn to a message of positivity. So we have a whole group of employee volunteers and volunteers from the community out here with us today to paint beautiful messages. We have some local artists and a lot of interest in the community in taking our boarded up walls and transforming them into something very happy, bright and beautiful with very positive messages. And for us, it's important that we're being heard and that everyone is taking their part to get the message out there against the fight against racism and injustice. So we're thrilled to have many of our employees here today who volunteered to come out early this morning to paint the backdrops in these beautiful happy colors and are here again this afternoon painting their positive messages alongside community partners from all over the region as well as some artists who have volunteered their time. But we really wanted to use this opportunity for our employees to really feel that Neiman Marcus and our group, our team and our community are behind this fight against racism and injustice. As an employee of Neiman Marcus, this is really important to me to get the community together to do something for the greater good. Um, it's really, really important that we all love each other and we can express it today with these great messages of hope. I think it's awesome that the community is gathered along with all of our employees. I've been working here for a couple months now doing client development and you know I just really think it's great that the community came out to support the store and just show the difference that we're making here. Um, to support the Black Lives Matter movement 100% even though I am white I feel as though um, my voice can still be of some use to the Black Lives Matter movement but basically I'm here to uplift black people and people of color um, by helping any way I can. These are different languages, like it says love and peace. And I did the Farsi and Arabic and Pashto, and another gentleman did the English part. And like we're all like one. I made a sketch this morning, and now we're just outlining it sort of. We might color it too. So. We're from Danville. Um, we came here to help out the community and bring positive vibes to the place. Yes. We're both art students from Pratt and Rhode Island School of Design, and we decided to come to Walnut Creek and leave a little piece of art for the community. I didn't know what I had signed up for. And I came this morning and we started painting, you know, the walls different colors and um, I found out that you could come here and draw something that's positive and spreads positivity. So I decided to kind of add on to the BLM movement and uh, bring back Black is Beautiful because I know that there's a lot of stigma against like, for example, like black hairstyles or, you know, so I just wanted to kind of spread positivity about that. My father's a pastor and he likes very influential but positive messages and my Angelou is one of the most influential and positive people I know. So and people like social media, so you take a picture in front of it and then promote the message as well. 